when I sign up here you will see a new sheet will be created for Mr. Wang. Yes, it is done. Hello friends, in this video I will show you advanced level application of my double slide login form. In my last video I showed you how to access welcome page through login form. This was the welcome page of my last video. Today I will show you a dynamic input field and a data table. Logout options also available as before. To enjoy this innovation, don't miss it and stay with me. Go back to my Google Drive and open the spreadsheet. Here you see the user sheet for the approved list of user name and their password. This current sheet is for the current user and their using time. Here this new name sheet is for the user details information. Here you see some country name list that will use for drop down menu in input field. These are all individual user sheets that are all created during new registration. Again, I go back to my Google Drive and open the app script. Normally do a new deployment. This spreadsheet and web app link is available in the description box. This is our double slide login form. Now I resize my browser window for your clear understanding. Here I will create a new account. New username is Hakim. See the account has been created. Beside username sheet, here you see a new sheet has been created with the new username Hakim. For your better understanding, I repeat it by create another new account. Now I give this username Wang. When I sign up, here you will see a new sheet will be created for Mr. Wang. Yes, it is done. Now I try to sign in with the name of Wang. When I input wrong password, it show me this alert. Again, I try to sign in with right password. This is our advanced level home page. Here you see the dynamic input field. Because when I input here, the data will automatically save to the user sheet. Here I input some random data. When I save this data, this will automatically save to the user dedicated sheet. For your experiment, this web app and the spreadsheet, both the links are available in the description box. Again, I input some random data. Now I will see the dynamic table. You see this table data has been imported from last updated sheet. Now I input another random data and see the dynamic table. Here you see our table has been dynamically updated with last input data. This table also mobile supported and responsive table.
Now I delete second row data from our spreadsheet. For getting this service, please feel free to contact with me. I will help you to create this type of advanced level web application. And yes, don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will show you this type of innovative web application on Google App Script.